Hey guys, happy Sunday. So I wanted to hop on and share with you the Scentsy Mardi Gras collection. And this will be releasing on January 1st. And so here's my technically not my first sniffs, but sniffs and then partially a warm review because I did warm some of the bars. But isn't that the cutest packaging? It is so adorable with the mask. And they do such a good job. I have to say I am a sucker for packaging. So my mom used to do advertising in New York City and this just had my heart. So as soon as I saw this, some of the bars sounded like my thing and some of them didn't. And that's okay because you'll find that not everybody has the same opinions. So Anyway, grab some coffee. I got my coffee with my Christmas mug. Grab some coffee and join me with some review. All right, let's dive in. I'm going to be looking at my phone here because I have some of the scent notes. And I saved some because I wanted to be able to sniff them. But here's the collection. Really pretty colors. Um, I'll start off with the one that I'm really not a fan of. Um, because uh, I'm cold. I didn't warm it. But I think it's just not my thing. Um, the packaging is beautiful on it. But I will share with you my thoughts. So here is the first one. This is Midnight Masquerade. It is beautifully done with the design on there with the masks and the feathers. It's a really pretty purple. As you can tell, I love purple. My office is purple. And this is just, it smells like something similar. This is sugared beignets, smoky vanilla, and midnight lily. Oh, I do. I did write the scent notes here. <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't remember if I did. And on cold, on the bottom, you get more of that lily or a floral note. A very, very light floral note on the bottom. I watched bars with bricks and brandy with brandy and she said that the floor really came out on warm so it's kind of kind of a nervous about this one but nonetheless i'll try it and then on the top you get like this kind of creamy creamy vanilla it says it's smoky but you do get a creamy smoky vanilla it's not super super like fiery or smoky so don't be scared of that. There is a light bakery note, maybe from the sugared beignets, but I'm not getting much bakery. I'm getting more of a floral and smoky vanilla, like traditional scentsy vanilla. So that is Midnight Masquerade. And again, on cold, it's not my thing, but you know, again, sometimes you just have to warm them to give them a try. So that's Midnight Masquerade. Another one that I'm on the fence about is Street Parade. Again, super cute packaging. Look at the light purple. You kind of get a hint of what's in there from there from the case. I'm gonna. It's probably gonna be pineapple in there. I think there is pineapple in there. Yep, because you see the little pineapples right there. All right. So really pretty purple wax. And this smells su something similar. It almost kind of takes on the smell of, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. What is that bar <laughs> from the Villains Collection? Is it Maleficent? Maleficent Mistress of Evil, I think is the name of that bar. So, um... I think it's Steph Loves Life. I think she likes that bar. So Steph, I think this is a bar for you. The notes in here are blood orange, a juicy plum, and golden pineapple. And you really get that pineapple on gold. But you also get that plum, that sweet, sweet, juicy plum that is in Mistress of Evil. And I didn't like that bar. And that's why I don't like this one. Um, but that pineapple, I'm not getting much orange on gold. Mm, 
Um, it, I'm mainly just getting that pineapple, that really, really fruity note, and that juicy plum. So this to me is more of a spring simmer bar. It's not really my type for now. But if you liked also pineapple pucker and um, see how the pineapple scent that scent he had. I think there was another pineapple one. But this is it's pine primarily pineapple and plum. So if you like fruity, this is definitely one for you. So not my thing. So I feel like this is really fruity. This is more like on the floral side. And let's get into a next one. Sorry, guys. It keeps on locking me out. The next one is confetti showers. And really cute. You got trumpets and music notes. Um, really pretty. Nice yellow bar. And this one is citrus. So if this is like the citrus family. This is sparkling citrus, black currant, and a hint of peach. And I do get peach. Um, I get that peach, the peach from, what was that bar? I'm drawing a blank on that bar. It was a scent of the month. Why am I trying to blank on that bar? Okay, this has come out. I don't know why it's not coming out now. <laughs> it's like fighting me all of a sudden. What is the name of that peach bar? And it was a scent of the month. Anyway, it's going to drive me nuts. If I can remember, I'll put it above here and let you know what it was. But it was a scent of the month, and it was really peachy, and it wasn't my thing. There we go. On the bottom, you get that almost kind of a citrus note from like Be Fabulous. Um, so if you like Be Fabulous, it was a uh, scent in the catalog that they pulled, I think, two springs ago. That's that citrus note that I get on the bottom. So if you like that Be Fabulous bar, if you like that peach bar, you get a hint of peach here. I mean, I kind of get more of a hint of peach, but... It's really kind of fresh and citrus uh, and really nice. Um, it's just a really pretty citrus scent. I feel like this would be a good one to like clean with. I don't know. Citrus is not my thing. If I had to choose, I would choose citrus over fruity though. But this one's nice nonetheless. Um, curious to see what it's like on warm, but this is confetti showers. All right. And the last two, I did have a chance to warm. This one I warmed here in my office, and this is creme de menthe. And this is the mint that, I think it's the stuff that you make um, mint drinks in. Um, but, whoa, now I'm smelling it more now that I broke it. And this one is golden mint, golden mint, garden mint, sweet peppermint, and sponge sugar. Um, and honestly, I got wax all over my desk now. I had this going here in my office and it honestly smelt a lot like, um, I'm not going to say peppermint rush because this one is more, it's a creamy peppermint and I don't typically like peppermint. I get more of that spun sugar. It's almost smells similar to something that Scentsy's done before. I'm not going to say peppermint buttercream because that's not it. This is definitely mint. You have to like mint. It's a creamy, sweet mint, though. Um, so I enjoyed it here in my office. It wasn't super strong. I had two cubes going here in my, I think it's the November warmer of the month, which is a Christmas tree. And it wasn't super powerful. I mean, again, you like to have mint. It was really refreshing, though. Um, you got more of that a peppermint than a spearmint. What's your, why is that? Is it marshmallow mint? I don't know. It's similar to something that Scentsy has done before. I kind of feel like they're bringing things back. But anyway, this is creme de mint. Um, it's a really pretty mint scent. So if you like mint, go for that. And last but not least, my all-time favorite. This was super good. I warmed through four cubes. I was going to do the whole thing here in my open concept. Maybe that's why it was super light on warm. And I think again, bars or breaks or brandy with brandy. I don't know why I always messed that up. She said it was super strong and I think it would have been super strong if I used the whole bar for sure. But I'm going to tell you what the scent notes are. And then I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this. So this is king cake, really cute with the king cake on it. 
and the scent notes here are cinnamon, brown sugar, and golden butter. So, I'm cold. Immediately when I smelt this, I smelt like, why does it smell like caramel praline cake? There's no caramel in it. There's cinnamon, brown sugar, and golden butter. So if you like caramel praline cake, I think you'll like this one. It's not as strong on warm as caramel praline cake. And then also on cold and sort of while I was warming, I got crumb top vibes. So if you like something like similar to crumb top, if you haven't had a chance to do that or warm that one, that was a bring back my bar. I think it's the same thing. I think it's cinnamon sugar and butter. Um, this kind of actually, let me go grab it. Give me one second. So this one is definitely lighter. But same vibes. So I feel like if crumb top and caramel praline had a baby, it would be king cake. So if you hadn't had a chance to get caramel praline cake, which is still available, it's from the sense of the season, or you couldn't get crumb top because this was a bring back my bar, I feel like king cake is sort of the same kind of vibe. So again, if caramel praline cake and crumb top had a baby, it would be king cake. So I don't know. Crumb top is currently in my club. Um, I might put caramel praline cake, but this is just, oh yeah, here you go. The perfect blend of oats. Look at it right there. Duh. The perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar. So it's similar, the same notes from crumb top. Yeah. So I'm curious to see, I'm going to probably get another bar of this when it releases and try a whole bar of my open concept to see how strong it is. But I don't know if I'm going to put both crumb top and king cake in my club. Crumb top is a good mixer, but I feel like king cake would be too. I don't know. Sensi's Bakery is all the same. This buttery, cinnamon, sugary type note. So anyway, those are my thoughts. That's what I felt like when King Cake was warming. I don't know if any of these are club worthy for me. Maybe I'll grab another bar of King Cake or two, but that's it, guys. I wanted to quickly share with you this really cute collection that will be launching on January 1st with Sensi. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.